Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is John Ritchie. In today's video, I'm going to give you four tips. What's that? You can't hear me? Uh, one second. Okay, all right, all right, hey, hey. Check, check, microphone check. Is that better? Okay, good, all right. Audio is so important, right? Uh, in that moment, you're probably like, hey, uh, what's going on? Um, so that's why audio is key, right? Because you can have a great looking video, but if the audio stinks, uh, you can take the user out of the experience very quickly. So in today's video, we're gonna focus on four different ways to level up your audio game. So let's get into it. So tip number one, uh, make sure you have the right position for your audio solution. Let's say you're conducting an interview and you've got two audio solutions, a lav mic and a boom mic. So what is the optimal position for those to get the best audio? Well. For lav mics, you want it somewhere here in the middle of the chest. Sometimes I've seen people put the lav mic up here on a collar or on a t-shirt. That really is the best position. You'll get a very throaty, nasally sound. You want to put it somewhere here in the chest because this is where your breath comes from. And this is going to give you the best sound for your audio. When it comes to shotgun mic placement, I have it right here, just out of frame, as close to me as possible and it's aimed at my chest. Not in my mouth, it's aimed at my chest. Again, that's because when you speak, it comes from your chest, comes from your lungs. So point that shotgun mic right at the chest for the best sounding audio. Okay, tip number two. Now that you have the microphones in the right position, you wanna to go to your camera settings and make sure you set the audio to the right levels. So every camera is gonna be a little bit different, but every camera is gonna give you the, the option to adjust the intensity or the level of audio that you wanna record. So what I suggest you do is open up those settings and then have your talent repeat back the ABCs. Now, why ABCs? Well, usually when I talk to them and I say, hey, just start talking, uh, they don't usually know what to say. So I just say, start with your ABCs, nice and loud, and that will give me plenty of time to test the audio by the time they get to Z. And you wanna make sure that the, the audio doesn't peak. Now, if it peaks, it's gonna go all the way to the red. That's not good, that's too loud. So then you wanna lower the levels down and you want it to land somewhere between negative 12 to negative 6 decibels. That's kind of the sweet spot where you want the audio to land. If you set it too low, when you bring it back into post, it's going to be too low, and you're going to try to boost up the gain of the audio levels, and you're going to get a lot of noise in your audio. It's going to hear a lot of room tone, a lot of static. And the opposite end of that, if you set it too high, uh, there's a potential that for the person to speak really loudly like this, and it spikes the audio all the way up. And when you do that, it gets distorted and fuzzy. It doesn't sound great. So by keeping it between negative 12 and negative 6, that's going to give you a good range in your editing software to give some room to play with it without making it sound distorted. Tip number three is to make sure you don't forget your headphones because you should always be monitoring your audio. Now, a lot of people, they're shooting by themselves, and that's okay. Uh, but if you're interviewing someone, or you're recording a talking head interview or something like that, you can wear the headphones and monitor the audio yourself. But if you're fortunate enough to have a second person with you, like a camera assistant, you can have them monitor the audio with their headphones. Sometimes things just go wrong, but you can mitigate any issues if you're monitoring the audio. So don't forget your headphones. So this last tip has to deal with having a two camera setup, right? So you've got a camera A focus on the talent and camera B focus on the talent. So the challenge is gonna be syncing up the audio between the two cameras in post. So what is the best way to do that? So you're gonna have both cameras point at the talent and then you start recording. That's important, make sure you're recording. Then ask the talent to bring their hands up to their face and one time clap really loud. Just like that. Now, uh, when you get back home and you offload your footage, you bring in both cameras into your timeline and in Premiere Pro, you can select all the clips, right click, and choose synchronize. And what it's going to do is it's going to look for any matching patterns in the sound. And that one loud clap is going to be a big spike on the waveform. So by having that big spike, it's going to help your audio software uh, figure out how to line up those two layers of video perfectly on that one big spike in the waveform. Trust me, this will save you hours and hours of work. Uh, before I knew that trick, I used to go in and, and watch their mouth for a specific word and I would move it frame by frame trying to match up uh, when someone would say something and match it up. That's really difficult, especially when you have two cameras. So 
uh, use the audio sync feature in Premiere Pro. It'll save you a ton of time. Okay, so those were some basic audio tips to help you on your next job. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, a subscribe. I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions about audio, leave them in the comments down below.